Hello my beautiful amazing people. Today I have for you two gameplays. The first one is on firing range where the enemy team actually ends up forfeiting. I don't show the entire countdown because it's a 20 second countdown but you can see that the forfeit definitely starts. I guess we were owning a little bit too hard and the second gameplay is just of a really 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 quick swarm and it's with me using the VSAT EMP swarm which is kind of the thing that I the video that I made on how to get an easy swarm Swarm, and I still think it's the fastest way to get a swarm because the assists stack up and it's also the perfect score streak setup to use for team deathmatch because the only kills that you are getting are with your swarm so if you want to get multiple swarms in a team deathmatch I think it's still the best score streak setup to use but today I wanted to talk to you guys about what made you a gamer? Like, why are you a gamer? I was kind of just sitting there talking to my mother. It was my mother's birthday, like, weekend. <laughs> so I spent a lot of time with my mother, and we were just talking about her being a gamer, how she got into gaming, how gaming kind of progressed for her through her life. And it just got me thinking, why did I become a gamer? Why am I still a gamer? So for those of you that do not know, my mother has been a gamer pretty much for her entire life. My mother is not young. I'm not going to say how old she turned, but it was a big birthday a big older birthday <laughs> I hope she doesn't watch this video because she will murder my soul for saying that but she started playing video games basically as soon as they came out and became popular she was playing them in the arcade she was playing them at home and she was talking to me about how having children kind of stopped her playing video games so I was thinking about my sister and my brother and how my sister doesn't play video games at all like she's never touched a video game she actually doesn't like them she kind of has a thing against video games my brother plays video games but I think that's kind of like a typical boy thing to do when he was growing up now there's 10 years between me and my sister my sister is 10 years older than me so I was kind of thinking about what she said in regards to me ending up being a gamer now she said that she basically stopped playing video games for a long time after she had children she had my brother and then two years later she had my sister so she wasn't playing video games while my brother was one two three she wasn't playing video games when my sister was one two three she only really started getting back into them around when they were seven years old and then obviously three years later i was born so at that point when i was born she was playing video games again. She had got back into the swing of playing video games. So I was brought up very heavily around video games. We had the PS1, the Atari, the Nintendo 64. We had the freaking what else did we have? <laughs> we had the Super Nintendo. I don't know if I said that already. We had the Genesis. We had pretty much everything. The only console that I've never owned is the original Xbox. The first Xbox is the only one I've never ever ever owned. I've owned the GameCube, the Wii, everything else I have owned. So I was very heavily influenced in my environment with video games. Video games were absolutely everywhere. So that's why I kind of believe that I got into video games. If I compare me and my sister for example, she didn't really grow up around video games in terms of her parents playing video games whereas I did. So then I got into thinking, why did I remain a gamer? And I was thinking about how I was bullied in school and I didn't really have any friends. And I was like, if I was that super popular chick in school, like, oh my god, I want to date her, or oh my god, I want to be her, would I have been such a big gamer? I don't think I would have ever completely stopped playing video games because they had been such a huge part of my life. Like, I grew up with my brother playing video games before I went to school, and then when I did, con when I did go to school, I continued playing with him, and his friends were my friends because we all play video games. So I don't think I would have ever stopped, but maybe I would have turned into like a we girl <laughs> maybe I would have been like just a Nintendo girl who just plays Mario Kart and that's it like I wouldn't play anything else I don't know I can't answer that question if I had someone to hang out with every night and people were inviting me to their house would I still be like sitting there playing Resident Evil at nine years old <laughs> would I still be completing Final Fantasies I don't know I can't answer that question because that life is like so different to the life that I had I wasn't popular so it's I can't even imagine what my choices would have been had I been that really popular girl in school but I mean if being super popular and not being bullied and having all these friends would have meant that I wouldn't be a gamer right now 
I would take being bullied and being unpopular any day because I wouldn't change the fact that I'm a gamer. I love gaming communities. I love being able to just make friends just like that. That. <laughs> you make friends just like that when you're a gamer because it's like, oh, you play League of Legends, I play League of Legends, you play Call of Duty, I play Call of Duty, let's play together. And then friendships form around that. So I wouldn't change it for the world. So make sure to leave in the comment section why you believe you became a gamer and why are you still a gamer to this very day. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Remember that I love you all. I really, really, really do. I love you all very, very much and I'll speak to you later. Bye.